today I thought I would make a bookcase for Swallow's Rest. I have cut two lengths at one by one inch by five inches. So I've cut two of that and then I've cut six of two by ones and then I'm going to glue them together and make a bookshelf hopefully if all goes well put my glue I've got a cocktail stick for the paint uh, for the actually let's get some of this grease proof paper which is a bit messy but um, this is a bit spontaneous so I'm doing this while I'm waiting uh, to go out um, right. So we glue the first one on and then I will probably do the others Oop. the others off camera partly to save a bit of battery life in my phone I must uh, see if I can get some of those uh, one, two, three blocks I think people use or something just to help support these square when I'm gluing. And the advantage of doing it on a bit of see-through paper is I can actually see if I'm gluing it square as well, which hopefully, hopefully I am. Now it's a beautiful day today and we're going to go out for lunch at Shanklin at a cafe called Blueberry, Blueberry's Cafe and it overlooks the sea which is absolutely beautiful right, hopefully I can leave that in there now to glue into place Right. Right, so I've got the bookcase frame made, I've got the shelves cut, next job is to glue them in. I've marked I've marked um, where the shelves are gonna go. So that is my next job. job and uh, the next job will be just smoothing the edges and then painting it 
Okay, I'm going to paint the bookcase now and I've used burnt umber and I'm going to do it quite watered down so it looks more like a stain. Unfortunately here I lost the beginning footage and also the audio. What I'm doing is I'm making some books using Lisa's um, tutorial, Miniature Things by Lisa. It's a fabulous tutorial. I've got some leather that I had and I've got an old book that was missing its cover that was in my free book library at Howgate. So yeah, so I'm using her tutorial. The link will be in the description box below so please do have a look below and see how these are made. It's a great little tutorial and I'm really pleased with how my books turned out. Okay, I've finished my bookshelf. Um, in hindsight, I wish I hadn't made it quite so deep because I've made my little books. This is just the first lot I've made using Lisa's method, which I'll method, which I will link in the description box below. Um, but they have they've got like little blank pages in, so you could write in them if you wanted to. At the moment, I'm just going to leave them blank because they're just for show. Uh, so they are going to go in the bookcase. And I will whoop, get them in. Put them in that shelf there. Are they going to fit in that one or that one? The middle shelf. So we've got the books in the middle shelf, like so. And then that will go in the dining room. And then I thought I'd show you a couple of other little things I've made. I've made a little toilet roll holder. For the bathroom. I have made some little jars of jam. And there should be another one actually. Where's my other one gone? Forgot. Um, now the tutorial I use for that I will leave in the link below as well. I can't remember the name offhand. But I actually made four of those. Um, and then I found some items the other day in my little local shop that sells some small dolls house furniture. So I've got this little... Um, oh, there's the other gem. Gem, it was in the bottle. I've got this little tin sort of pot, two bottles of milk, gold top and silver top for those who remember when you used to get different coloured milk bottle tops for full cream and homogenised, I think it was. A little pottery pot, and then I also got some jars of jam. I just got two. I've got this one, they're a bit more professional looking than mine. So I've got that one and another one. And I also, this is the result of the laundry basket I was trying to make. Um, I found a tutorial for that as well, but I'm not overly pleased with it. It will do for now. It does fit on top of the washing machine, I'll show you, but it's not really what I want. I'll probably use this for something else in the end, but at the moment. That's what I'm using it for. Oh, and when I was going through some tiny supplies, I found Grandad's toolbox. So he brought his bunch of tools with him. So Gladys is actually quite pleased about that because Gerald, although he tries, he's not that good at DIY. So, whereas Grandad, that was his profession, working with his hands. And, of course, he's bought the toolbox with him, which is rather pristine, so I might age it. Anyway, we'll go over to the house. 
right so i've put the bookcase on the back wall in the dining room i'm not sure it'll stay in there i may move it into the lounge onto that wall if i move it into the lounge i'll probably darken the stain on the bookcase but i haven't decided yet um looks like granddad has left his toolbox down there for now and then the kitchen getting ready for breakfast and I seem to be good at knocking the bread over I tried to make a knife the other day but wasn't very successful so I need to try again yeah that's better and in the back corner we can see the jams and the little pots that I bought there's, there's one bottle of jar of jam missing like all little tiny things they go missing very easily I'm not sure what's happened to that I'm not sure if I used it to get an idea what how I wanted to make mine or whether it's fallen out somewhere so I'll have to see if I can find that and then the little baskets on top of the washing machine at the moment so that is the house uh, additions in the last few days okay so i actually made more books for the bookcase and yes they are all very much one color but that's the leather i had available uh, peter and simon are wrestling in the background they think now they're one year old they can wrestle as much as they want and then i forgot to i actually redid Gladys's footstool, so she's got a nice footstool or poof or uh, what's what, what other words are they called? Um, anyway, something to rest her feet on. So there we go. So I'm going to move the table back in. And there's the dining room as it stands at the moment. As I say, I may probably move the bookshelf into the lounge. I haven't decided yet. Okay, right. Onwards and upwards, as they say. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And please leave a comment if you'd like to. And uh, please have a look at the links I leave in the description box below for the making of the jam. And also Lisa's wonderful book idea. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you another time. Have a great day. Bye.